Well, I think one of the things that I'm very interested in is presenting this question of salmonity of past and present. And so that's something that you can really do in a multiple screen presentation because you have different screens. And I'm really interested in the way that aesthetics of display can create a new way for looking. Well, Lessons of the Hour is, as you can see behind me, is a 10 screen video installation or film installation, which was made in 2019. And this work, which was shot in Washington, London, Scotland, and to a certain extent was inspired by my first visits to Rochester, where Frederick Douglass is buried. And I just thought straight away that this is a project that would be about him. What I didn't know was that Frederick Douglass actually, after he wrote his autobiography, became so well known because the biography is about his life when he was enslaved. And the book was such a huge success that people wanted to re-enslave him. And so he ended up living in Scotland, of all places. And in a way, his work there in Scotland over a period of two years resulted in him actually returning back to America as a free man. And of course, he gave over 400 speeches while he was there. He was an amazing orator. There were ballads and actual sonnets, in a way, dedicated to him. And I mean, I didn't know any of this, but through making the work, I also discovered that he was one of the most photographed men of the 19th century. He saw photography as a way of writing the wrongs, the caricatures which were being made of African Americans at the time. And in a way, he was someone who was very involved in a kind of philosophy around pictures, around picture making. And so the lecture on pictures for me was very central because I make pictures myself. He made so many eloquent speeches. He was a statesman, he was a freedom fighter, for God's sake. So I think there's a way in which I was able in this work to try to sort of encapsulate these themes, but trying to make them also relate to the present day. So of course, if you go to the cinema to see a film, you'll see a single screen film, it would be a narrative, it would be a certain linear narrative, you could say. But I think if you're going to go to the museum, or to the gallery to see a film or even images, there should be something unique about that experience. And one of the unique things you can explore in the gallery is really to look at the legacy of video art or expanded cinema and to play with that legacy in your work. The question of seminarity or the simultaneous way in which you can view things, which we all do every day on our iPhones, and this seeps into an artist's practice, only in this version, it's a sort of expanded one that's working with this question of scale and so I think then you can have the possibility or the opportunity to make a work which can be quite expansive that can try to make a sort of sonography or a way of viewing that can both be tantalizing and at the same time questioning the ways you ordinarily look at films and the moving image because of course I think there are so many conventions in films that have become a little bit mundane. And so I think one of the things that we can do in the gallery context, the museum context, is to offer different ways of looking. Well, I think the thing about Frederick Douglass's story is really a story which needs to be known by a much wider audience. I'm hoping that there can be sort of an element of surprise in the work in terms of thinking about Douglass's work and his legacy and the resonances which are, in a sense, so contemporary. I'm just hoping that this work does a little bit of that work towards telling the bigger story, really.